Hello, this is Michael Emery with Emory EPS Internet Marketing, and we are doing website reviews and analysis for the websites um, showing up in the search results for the keyword phrase Seattle Attorney. So right now we are on page two of the results, and we're looking at position number 12, which is wadelawoffice.com. And so the real place to be is the top three positions of Google page one. That's where most of the, the traffic, the lion's share of the people that are searching for a term on Google, like Seattle Attorney, are going to go. So we're going to see why is this website, wadelawoffice.com, in position 12 instead of in position 1, 2, or 3. So the first thing that we're going to do here is take a quick look at the website. It's a nice, clean, professional-looking site, and it's got... A fair amount of written content on the home page. Let's see what the computer is saying, what the robots are saying when they when they crawl through the site. So we have the title here, Seattle Legal Malpractice Attorney, good, professional ethics lawyer, good, Washington, Washington 2 attorney. That might be a typo, I'm not quite sure. I'd have to check. Um, meta keywords, meta description, offer experience legal advice. So what we'd probably want to see here in the meta description is if possible one of these variations in here we'd want to have um, Seattle legal malpractice attorney, Washington attorney, professional ethics lawyer. Um, we'd probably want to get one of those in there. Having the number in the meta description Yes or no? It's not going to be a. It's. I don't know of too many people that. Um, it's totally subjective, but I don't know of too many people that look at the search results, and then they'll make the phone call because they see the phone number in the description. I think that they're going to go to the website first and learn more. So that might be an actual waste of time, or waste of space right there. Um, meta description or meta keywords. I would take all of those out. They tend to do more harm than good. Okay, H one, H two, H three. Experience legal malpractice attorney in Seattle. Good, right there. Is, that's a strong key keyword phrase. Restoring your faith in the justice system. Um, I like it uh, qualitatively, but quantitatively, it doesn't do your website any good. Timely and personalized assistant does doesn't do any good here. Um, what we want to see. This is like a, an academic paper. It's a thesis. You have your title, your subtitle, your sub subtitle. So the title's generic, subtitle's you know, a little, little bit more comprehensive, and then your sub-subtitle can be very specific. So it could be, for example, um, the H one's actually good, experienced legal malpractice attorney in, in Seattle. Um, then it could be a variation on malpractice attorney in Seattle. So it could be Seattle malpractice lawyer specializing in XYZ and then an H3 that goes into even greater detail about what those specializations might be or um, malpractice in the Seattle area. So that's something that I would make a recommendation here. We need to change the H2 and H3. Add a Google Analytics account to start to ma monitor your website traffic and add a favorite icon. So that's kind of what the computer is saying here. Let's take a look and see what's happening with the page speed. So it's actually really good. Uh, page speed score 97, why slow, why slow score is 88, uh, load time is one second, size is 221 kilobytes, request is 24. You're, you're doing great here. Let's see what um, Google says about the website experience. And here's where we have a little bit of a hang up. So we need to optimize the mobile version of the website. And this is a very common error. Sometimes it's easy to fix, sometimes it's complicated. We can handle it either way, but um, it can be a little bit of a bugger uh, trying to figure it out. So we need to fix this, bump your score up to at least an 85 so we get into the green checkbox like your desktop version is. So we got a 90 out of 100 on desktop, we're looking good. And it's just some compression stuff that needs to happen here to make it even higher. Optimization of images, minification of JavaScript and CSS. So let's see, why are, why are you, why is this website in position 12 instead of position 1, 2, or 3? And so let's look at 
the back side or the off-site side of the website, what backlinks are connected to the site. Here's kind of where we start to run into some of the challenges. We want to see some higher numbers here. Um, there's a fair number of backlinks that have been created. The uh, domain number is not too bad. It's a, you know it's kind of a it's almost a four to one relationship. We want to stay within the range of ten to one. So um, you know for every ten backlinks, you've got at least one referring domain. And Nice. So I would say that there's been some some SEO campaigns done, at least in the past. They just haven't been from a powerful enough network uh, to increase the trust flow, and that's something we can definitely solve for you. So let me show you perfection here. If you had a perfect website like Google.com, you'll see right here, Site Explorer results for Google.com. Trust flow, 97. Citation flow, 96. Their splatter chart, huge. Uh, this is just the quantity of links and the quality of links. That's you know, the highest and the best of the best. And <clears throat> we can see the anchor text ratios here. And they're really low. Um, Google, it's less than 4%. And then some of their other keyword phrases that they're going to show up for, uh, less than 1%. So. Let's take a look and see what's happening here in terms of the anchor text. This is this is kind of a big red flag here. This says that out of um, 480 backlinks, more than half of them, almost 60% of them, say Seattle legal fee dispute lawyer. Uh, the red flag is that it's highly uncommon to have that many um, backlinks for a five word keyword phrase Seattle legal dispute legal fee dispute lawyer um, that's not something that people go all the time so it might look a little bit um, contrived if that makes sense and, and please you know no, no no offense here but just like looking and seeing you know what what public information is saying here it's like we need to reduce this percentage here. We ideally need to have this percentage to be like one of the Google percentages of so less than 4%. So we definitely need to do some work around that. And that's something that takes time. Um, but we can definitely boost you. And so we can see Everett Legal Malpractice. It's a keyword phrase. We've got a URL. We've got a, another keyword phrase. Uh, another keyword phrase. Keyword phrase, but these ones are fine. They're within. You know, I would take this one down a little bit. Our SEO campaigns would would do that automatically. It actually bump all of these down, and you probably get, end up ranking higher for these keyword phrases. Uh, we just need to make sure that the website itself is optimized for these keyword phrases. If we're going to be targeting them, they have to be on the actual page. In most cases especially if they're more competitive. If they're not competitive keyword phrases, then it's not going to be an issue. We can definitely rank you for them. So in a nutshell, this is essentially what needs to be done on this website to move it out of position 12 and into the top three positions for Google search phrases like Seattle Attorney. So essentially, we would need to resolve the existing on-site problems. Um, there were some issues with the use of the headers resolve the offsite problems, we need to run some higher quality SEO campaigns, and this will not only put you onto page one, but position you for being in the top three positions of the uh, Google search results for keywords like Seattle Attorney. And the importance of this is we can see that more than 60% of website traffic is generated through organic search. Only 6% of website traffic to, you know, regarding a specific keyword is generated through pay-per-click campaigns like AdWords or Facebook. So the lion's share is going to those top three positions for a keyword like Seattle Attorney. So hopefully this has been of some insight to you. Uh, I'd love to have the opportunity to speak to whoever's in charge of your marketing and set up a time for a consulting call and see if we can move forward. I'd love to have the opportunity to work with you guys and show you what we can do. Thank you for your time.